Chelsea, I think, is next on the agenda, right? Personal terms agreed with Brighton's Mark Kukurea, and he is now their player, 24 years old, £50 million, and a a left full-back can also play uh, in a back three as well. That's a great addition for them. Reports that they're going to be going uh, back in for Barcelona's Frenkie de Jong, another midfielder. They've signed Carney Chukwameka from Aston Villa, who is an exceptional young player for his age. Um, But Thomas Tuchel hasn't been too happy with how things have gone during pre-season. He's actually called out his current squad for a lack of effort, I guess. Maybe it's a bit of a hangover from last season, but you'd actually put them on the list of clubs who maybe have more concerns, more things to fix than more things that have been fixed over the summer. Um, How concerned are you, Carlton, about Chelsea at this point? I'm not concerned at all. Um, I think it's been a difficult period and it's been difficult with Tuchel with with everything happened at the club with Abramovich and the new owners coming in. Um, he's lost Rudiger. Um, and I, I think that's a little bit of frustration coming out from the manager and, and that's probably sparked the the owner into going out and doing uh, the the uh, deal for the Brighton left-back. Um, you, you know, uh, the, I, I think he's got a very, very good squad. I think with this, with this signing and if he was able to get a striker in, I still don't think they can win the Premier League, um, but then they'll be able, I think they'll be able to close the gap on the, the top two. We thought this last season, though, didn't we? Yeah, but I, listen, I, again, I, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to signing a player and 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 then asking that player to change the way he played. Look, I could. Yeah, I don't agree with that, and that's what they did. I, I mean, f- three or four games in, I thought, hang on a minute, Chelsea could be genuine title contenders the way mm. Lukaku was playing. Um, but the manager wants to play the way he wants to play. That's been dealt with. I think they're, they're short of a striker. I think Raheem Sterling's a massive signing for him, a really good signing for them. Um, the the, the centre-back... Koulibaly. Koulibaly. I, I think he's one of the best defenders in the world, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I think it's a little bit of frustration from the manager um, with with the lack of sort of the transfer activity. And, 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 and basically, I think he said what he said just to kind of G the owners up to get on and do a bit of business. I'd still be concerned about their defence despite the signings of Kukurea and Koulibaly, to be perfectly I, I, I said they needed to sign another centre-half because yeah. they lost, obviously, they lost Anderson as well, didn't they? They lost Christiansen, Christiansen. and they lost Rudiger. Yeah. Two yeah. massive... Well, I say Rudiger's a big, big miss for them. Yeah. He was, of course, their yeah. best defender, really. Yeah. But Christiansen did have a lot of game time for yeah. them. Needs yeah. to be replaced. Yeah. And, of course, there were big talks at the start of the transfer window, big noises at least, that... Aspilicueta, Cesar Aspilicueta would be leaving the club and so would Marcus Alonso and that still might happen uh, yeah. and then they still need I think replacements for those players yeah, yeah. you need a squad but particularly if you're, you're going to be playing four big competitions but I, I think they have tried they tried to get Aki out of um, Man City um, but Man City were asking what 40 million for him and they refused to pay that for him I, I think that's a lot of money for mm. a player who hasn't and I was speaking to, to, to Thomas Roddy at the, the Times today yeah who told me that their number one target with Matthias De Ligt, yeah. who, of course, left Juventus and went to, to Bayern Munich. Yeah, yeah. When you're missing out on your key targets, it's not great for a club of Chelsea's yeah, but everybody, magnitude. But, but everybody's the same. It's difficult now, um, you, because the money that's involved in the game now, right, is huge. Whereas before, you'd have in the Premier League your top clubs targeting your top players paying your top wages, you think you're almost guaranteed of saying, like Man United, we want De Jong, we're going to offer this amount of money, we're going to get him. But it's not as simple as that. De Jong's got four years left on his contract. He's owed an awful lot of money. He's not going to ask for a transfer because I don't think he's he's that unhappy at staying at Barcelona. But he's also been very clear, clever, De Jong. He knows that they've signed um, the uh, the the centre forward from Bayern Munich and they've also Lewandowski and they've also signed Jules Koundé from uh, Sevilla uh, and and they've signed um, (laughs) they've signed a few yeah and the the Leeds United uh, Rafinha Rafinha so they've spent that money so so De Jong knows they need to balance the books they know they need him to go so the deal will have to be struck and I think it might be a similar deal that's done like Chelsea have done I think they've weighed uh uh, what's his name? He's Kukacir. Cucurella. Yeah, I think they've weighed him in for his four years. Yeah. You know, I think they've weighed him in and I think Chelsea will do the same for Dijon. Okay, and that would be big for them. I think if they can get a De Jong in, someone who can help out in that midfield area, 
someone who's been similar in their style of play to the likes of Kovacic, Jorginho, I know a lot of the Chelsea fans aren't big on, but he's been a quality player. Oh, yes, yeah. And then you've got N'Golo Conte as well. I, I think as a midfield four, and usually they play two in there. That's not too bad. You've got Mason Mount who can drop deeper. You've yeah. got Conor Gallagher. You've still got Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Yeah. As what would that be? About a seventh or eighth choice central midfielder. I mean, it's not yeah. too bad. I mean, is De-, De Jong is a really, really good player. And I think Manchester United will be disappointed to miss out on him. But that's the, that's the problem with not qualifying for the Champions League. Well, we will see if that is indeed the case because, of course, Chelsea will still have some work to do, a bit like Manchester United have tried to get that deal done. Um, OK, let's hear it from um, Khalid, Khalidou Koulibaly, the new centre-half signed from Napoli for Chelsea. He is their first number 26 since John Terry the club legend departed in 2017. Well, Koulibaly has taken the shirt, but not without the permission of Terry. This was Koulibaly speaking to TalkSport earlier. I called him at the beginning. He didn't, uh, he didn't uh, believe that it was me. He believed that it was a joke. So he put out the, the phone and called the first, uh, like the team manager to ask if it's really me. And after I asked him like uh, respect, respectfully uh, that uh, I wanted to take his jersey, his number, I know that uh, it's a number for him very important, and it's also also for me a very important number because I took it directly when I uh, when I went to to Napoli, and I wanted to keep it for here in Chelsea. And uh, when he told me yes, I was really happy because. Uh, I know what he did for the club, I know what he did for the supporters, what he did for the city here. And uh, I know that uh, it's very important to ask him first to, before to wear it. Uh, Kaladu Koulibaly speaking to TalkSport there. He called John <laughs> Terry, called him up, asked him for his number 26. Yeah, yeah, really? Why is he ringing John Terry up for? What, what's it? He's know? a legend, isn't he? Oh, he's a legend of the game, and 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 that's a fact. And John Terry is is steeped in in Chelsea's history and will be. Uh, he, he was an outstanding captain and won a lot of things. But I'd, I've I've never known of a of, of a ex player, uh, sort of player ringing up an ex player asking him for his his number, a number that hasn't been retired. You know, some people might see it as a as a mark of respect. Um, I don't really get it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just a PR uh, yeah, exercise, so P- yeah? It sounds, sounds that way to me. 